purposes and for your safety and comfort, I would like to bring the following information to your attention. There are three exits in this venue, two emergency exits to the rear and one here to my left. In the unlikely event of an emergency, we would ask you to proceed directly and calmly to the exit nearest to you. When exiting the building, you are asked to proceed to the assembly point, which is in the car park on the right, um, at the end of the building, which is to my right, sorry. In preparation for the ceremony, I would ask guests to please turn off their mobile phones. Please be aware that this event will be live streamed online and photographed. If you can please stand for the graduate procession. Be seated. Ian Erica, a green Ushla file to arrive, could he in in a run for Dov Octony or the Dakish or Rave Kamehun Kalashta? Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this graduation ceremony at which third level awards will be conferred on graduates of Griffith College, Cork. I'm also delighted to welcome graduates and their guests who are not in a position to attend in person and who are joining us today online. Our panel members include Professor Dermot Hegarty, President of Griffith College, Kevin Gagan and Ronan Fenlon, Directors of Griffith College, Noel Daly, Head of Academic Programs at Griffith College, Cork, Dr Ian Jones, Founder and CEO of Inner Pharma Group, Finbar Sheehy, Education Director, Sandra Mooney, Quality Assurance and Enhancement Manager of Innofarma, along with the program directors and faculty lecturers involved in the delivery of our programs. I'm Dr. Thomas McGuckagon, the college's director of academic programs, and I have the pleasure of being your MC for this graduation ceremony. Kantus Karlesh de Himakti, Irmanish Erin Tholov Dermot Hegarty, Ukhtaran Kalajdi Griefa, Lauertling Hakyana Kalajdu. 
I would like to begin the proceedings by inviting Professor Dermot Hegarty, President of Griffith College, to deliver a conferring address. Distinguished guests, colleagues, graduands, ladies and gentlemen. From time immemorial, the day of the harvest has always been a day of celebration. And for you, today is that day. Should I mention, in case people are feeling a bit nervous and apprehensive, um, I think we all are on a bigger occasion, should I actually say, I remind you, in fact, the story of the person who was undergoing an operation, said to the, said to the doctor, doctor, I'm, I'm really nervous, this is my first operation. To which the surgeon responded, Oh, I know, I know, I know what you're feeling, how, how you're feeling. It's my first too. <laughs> so hopefully, in fact, today's graduation will be the first of many academic awards that you'll receive in a life of lifelong learning. Anyway, today is your day. Um, and basically, it's a day in which the seed, which was tentatively sown by you, comes to full flower. Today it's our pleasure to see you, and privilege indeed, to see you rejoice in its flower and savour its fruit. The growth period has not always been easy. Like any plant buffeted by the storms of daily life, there were times when hands other than your own nurtured its growth. The Green Fingers Twitter affair are those of family, partners, friends, who shared your trials and tribulations, prepared meals for you, put up with your inevitable, hopefully few cranky moods, and those who readily accepted the stress you were so relieved to pass on. Now, in the time-honored tradition of Griffith College, I'm going to ask the parents, partners, families, and friends to stay seated while you, the graduates, stand up. I want you now, please, to turn to your families, partners, and friends and express to them Thanks for the support you've received over the years by acclamation, applause, cheers, or how we like. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let me not make the mistake that I made last week and forget to ask you to sit down. <laughs> um, Today is your day. Uh, treasure this special moment. It will live in your memory for many years to come. An academic award is not an entitlement of rank or class. It is, in fact, one through many hours of mental toil and diligent application. No one can take this from you. So wear your gowns with pride and hold your qualifications in the high esteem they deserve. Uh, in fact, I'm reminded at this point of the story told by a priest at a wedding. Having told the young couple that they came into the church as two people, but left as one, he described on a previous occasion, previous wedding, the bride outside the church, backing the unfortunate groom into a corner and telling him, now John, I want you to remember, from this day onwards, for the rest of your life, I am the one. <laughs> I think many of us will relate to that. <laughs> um, today, you are the one in case there's any mistake. If getting married, do engage a Griffith qualified photographer to protect against the mishap of a couple whose photographs were taken outside the church. Afterwards, as they admired the photographs of the happy bride and groom, the bride with her family, the groom with his family, and all their friends and relations, they noticed the common backdrop to all photographs. It was the sermon of Easter week. On a big notice board outside the church were the words, forgive them, Lord, they know not what they do. <laughs> I think I can feel safe in saying that, telling that story to this group who quite clearly know what they're doing and where they're going. As president, you'd wish me to acknowledge the contribution to success, success of my colleagues as members of boards, as lecturers, administrators, librarians, and faculty members. Uh, I'm delighted to welcome our distinguished guests from Inner Pharma Labs, Dr. Ian Jones, Kevin Delaney, Finn Barshini, 
Sandra Mooney and Anne Mitchell. Uh, on a personal basis, uh, I would like to share some personal reflections with you relating to the future, which to my mind lies in the hands of you and your children. Since the last graduation, our family have had the joy of three grandchildren, with one more due by the end of this year. As my wife puts it, it's like the buses. You wait for one and they all come together. The um, three matters of concern for their future occurred to me recently, and I thought I would share with them, as I've said earlier, it is your generation which will deal with them. And they are world peace, global climate, and world health. All of us are obviously concerned with the impact of the conflict in Ukraine on world peace. We fervently wish for peace, not only for the Ukrainians, but also for the young Russian conscripts. But peace at what price? Uh, history has shown us that it can't be one-sided. But in all conflicts, the point is reached where conciliation is conceivable to both sides. We've seen this in Northern Ireland. Um, this time may not be now, but it will come. Uh, at that point, the value of a peacemaking approach, which brings both sides to conciliation, using an element of fudge, is critical. Um, it seems to me that the art of fudge, which effectively seeks to reduce the sharpness of the edges of conflict, okay, is in fact enormously valuable. That skill is enormously valuable in a peacemaking process. And I think it's well described in these words, when we are lawyer-like and young, there are just colors too. Then black describes what must be done, and red what not to do. So long take we to pigments mix, sea brown, but just a smudge. Intractables we fail to fix, no, not the art of fudge. When men would die were black deeds done, and red with blood would rivers run. Could only the insane begrudge the blessed saving art of fudge. Now the vast majority of us would say the issue here is black and white. Yet, valuing human life and hoping there are some decent people who can influence the outcome, we might consider the lesson learnt by an old man one morning following a big storm. He found his beach littered with tens of thousands of starfish. He noticed a small boy throwing starfish into the ocean. Asking him why, the boy replied, Tide has washed them up. They can't return themselves and will perish in the sun unless I throw them back. The old man replied, well, there must be tens of thousands of starfish on the beach. Can you really make a difference? Boy, picking up another starfish, throwing it far into the ocean, turned, smiled, and said, it made a difference to that one. And let us pray for this difference to human life in Ukraine as soon as possible. One might consider the precedent of, of Maine and Europe, locked in 1944 in a bitter, destructive war driven by a despot. These European countries, seven years later, signed the European Coal and Steel Community Treaty, representing the first step towards European integration. Let us hope that peace will bring hope and trade where Ukraine could benefit from being a bridge between the European and Russian economies. This year, we have witnessed loss of life due to forest fires and flash floods. We are warned that these are the first effects of planet overheating. Indeed, most recently, we've been told that the world's glaciers will have fully melted by 2050. Clearly, we need to recognize the impact of our lifestyle on the planet gifted to us. We are just birds of passage and must pass this gift to future generations as we find it. Of this, we need to constantly remind ourselves, and I suggest these words as appropriate. Remind us, Lord, as we sit down to eat of fishes, loaves, and water turned to wine. These miracles that you each day repeat as sun and earth give life to your design. Oh, how we take for granted precious air and miracles like photosynthesis. Our carbon footprint stains the heaven stair while we have yet to learn to leave as is. Remind us, Lord, how short the span of life. Our pleasures, like ourselves, are sure to die. And they will not beget our children's strife if we just cherish water, earth, and sky. World health is still an issue of, of, of concern. One thing this global pandemic has taught us is resilience in the face of adversity. It demonstrates to us that we had no other choice than to embrace radical change. 
and that by facing challenges head on and adapting to our ever-changing circumstances, we could prevail. The pandemic forces us to embrace the dawning of the era of agility. We are not yet rid of COVID and must maintain the vigilance and agility learned through the pandemic to face any future threats. The Griffith Institute of Language Department is delighted to introduce our new foundation course, our newest foundation course, the Certificate in International Foundation Studies, and now in its second year. And this programme focuses on an introduction to business, culture and science. The college is delighted to have partnered with Technological University of Shannon, University College of Cork, Southeast Technological University, University of Limerick, where our foundation students take degrees in architecture, journalism, nursing, biomedical science, among others. We're delighted with the continued growth of the pharmaceutical industry in Ireland and our continued collaboration with InnoPharma, which we're proud to announce is now in its 10th year. There are over 56,000 people directly employed by pharmaceutical and medical device manufacturing companies in Ireland across 190 factories. Nearly as many, again, are employed indirectly. Thanks to InnoPharma's detailed knowledge of the pharmaceutical industry, we're seeing a significant increase in our joint student body in Ireland and project a very promising future for all students here. Uh, recent graduates have found employment in Pfizer and, and many more pharmaceutical companies, and some are returning home to bring their newfound skills back to develop the pharmaceutical industry, pharmaceutical industry in their own countries. The industry is strong and will remain strong for the field of the foreseeable future. And we're delighted, working with our partners in the pharma, to making a valuable contribution to the industry. Uh, this group of graduates is truly international. Uh, and uh, I want to congratulate them and welcome their families in their own language. Polsce studentse, powita pryce jakol i rodznie. I'll try it again. Powiti, chie, chiaciu i rodzina. Ma piper naja. How far? How are your day? Congratulations for you, studies, no wahala. Pelajra Malaysia, salamat datang, kawan dan sodor mahal. August Miklain Ernok, Fulgerov Galer, Fulgerov Karda August Guelta. Now that you're part of the Griffith alumni, don't hesitate to set your sights on the pinnacle of your profession. Your standards are set by your fellow alumni, who over the last few years took 34 prizes and so far this year, again, taken 19 prizes across all accounting bodies. These include first in the world for ACCA, three firsts in Ireland ACA placing among 540,000 students in 181 countries, together with 14 first places in CPA examinations in 2021. We all have a natural tendency to, to, to leave the difficult to last, forgetting that the more readily we negotiate the thorns, the closer we smell the roses. The Maori proverb puts it well. Turn your face to the sun and the shadows fall behind you. Remember, the sun will rise and set regardless. What you do with the light is up to you. Some of you may feel it's beyond your control. Uh, I propose to you Abraham Lincoln's opposite viewpoint. Best way to predict your future is to create it. And many of you indeed can do that. The sooner you embrace that journey, the better. Because on that journey, time flies, but you are the pilot. Have no doubt, great challenges await you, particularly to do things you've never done before. But just remember, the expert in anything was once a beginner. You're going to fall. Don't worry how many times. Just make sure that it's one less than the number of times you get back up. Remember, you're always a student, not like the school child responding after the first day at school to his mother's question, what did you learn today? To which he said, responded, obviously not enough. They want me back again tomorrow. <laughs> but just as we seek to rely <coughs> on you for our future, so we must pledge in return a future for Griffith College in which you will be proud to call yourself a Griffith graduate. The key to the value of your award will be university staff for Griffith College. The college programs are already accredited by quality and qualifications are and internationally benchmarked through our national qualifications framework. QQI is devolved to Griffith College responsibility for operation of program validation. The next stage is delegation of authority to make awards, under which the awards will actually, in fact, come from Griffith College 
under authority given by QQI. We hope in time to follow the technical universities into university status. No reason why, given that in fact this organisation or Griffith is probably bigger, more nationally uh, distributed, bigger in numbers uh, than many of the uh, Institute of Technology that combined to form technical universities. Nothing is achieved without stress or strain. Uh, when you get to my age, you, you, you greatly value diminishing capacity of memory. I recall the memory difficulties of a colleague who sat in a restaurant with his wife, trying to recall the name of a restaurant where he'd eaten the previous week. He called the waitress over and asked her, tell me the name of a flower. To which she, she responded, rose. He said, no. She said, tulip. He said, no. And then she said, Lily. And he said, ah, yes. And he turned to his wife and said, Lily, what was the name of the restaurant <laughs> in which we ate last week? <laughs> From this, I hope you will all understand the stresses and strains undergone by lecturers and students at exam time. To all graduates, may I express the hope that over your period with us, Griffith College will have found a place in your hearts as you have in ours. I want you to know you're always welcome on campus, socially, educationally, or just to show off the new BMW. Reverting to the theme of the harvest where I started, the words of author James Allen, um, I think, are very relevant to the joint roles of the college and student in, in your development. The law of the harvest is to reap more than you sow. Sow an act and you reap a habit. Sow a habit and you reap a character. Sow a character and you reap a destiny. May I conclude by congratulating you again on your success and hope that by wishing that you may harness the knowledge and experience you acquired here in Griffith College to achieve what you richly deserve, a successful and fulfilling career. In the words of the Song of Wandering Angus, written by W.B. Yeats, may you pluck till time and times are done the silver apples of the moon and golden apples of the sun. While in Fodger Coroy, Gudian Kitchard and Okoid in a run for Colliac de Nashunta, August Ider Nashunta, a rave came on Kalashta. I now welcome you to the part of our proceedings at which national and international awards will be conferred on graduates of the college, and I declare open this awards ceremony. Iremar and Tolliv Deer Matagarty, Uther on Kalashta Griffa, Colliac de Nashunta, August Ider Nashunta, a runa and a rave came a Todd or Herbert Egan Kalashta. I call upon Professor Dermot Hegarty, President of Griffith College, to confer awards on the graduates of this college presented by the college for that purpose. Um, may I first explain the significance uh, of, of the, what we're about to do? Um, essentially, this is the moment where the awards are conferred upon you. Now, you would say rightly, look, We've done all the work we need to do. We have attended the lectures. We have submitted the assignments. We've passed the examinations, okay? So why the need for anything else? Well, there's a formal process where, in fact, the award which you have earned is actually conferred upon you. And that's what this is about. It's conferring, the, con the actual act of conferring the award. Harkan Kaloshti Griefe, Agus Korla Diarvu Kalikti, Agus Kalikti Agus Kalikti Erm, Winam Kalikti, Ranum Kalikti, Erfjallamore and Kaloshta, Vinkaidanamak, Elekna Kalikti, Agus Irm, Gurter Nifjallamore, Fame of Roy, Hun Gurfidelam, Agud Para Herbert Doiv, Gufomi. As some of you here do not have English as your first language, or do, do not have Irish as your first language, I'm going to repeat these words of conferring in English. On behalf of Griffith College and Quality and Qualifications Ireland, I hereby confer the awards on the learners of the college who have achieved the standards determined for those awards. And I ask that those learners be presented to me so that I may formally present them with their partners. Congratulations. Irminish er Eddie Neenan. Stuarhor Clore, Irahora Herbert. I call upon Eddie Neenan, Program Director, 
to present a candidate in respect of the Griffith Institute of Languages programme. Uh, graduate of the Certificate in International Foundation Studies, President, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it is my great privilege to be here with our graduates in Certificate in Foundation Studies. Um, it has been wonderful during the year to see these young people take their first step into higher education. We have, um, we have been able to help and support them. Now we get, every day during the course, we got the opportunity to see the expression, the sky is the limit, personified by the attitude of our learners. Um, we, uh, over the course of the year, we have seen them take possession of the learning process and learn to control their academic progress. Now, we are a relatively young um, program, so we have to ensure that our standards are high. We also have to ensure that our ambition is matched by achievement. Our achievement is measured by the success of our learners and our graduates. And we have, uh, it's very satisfying to see our, so many of our students continue their higher education in Griffith College, either in Cork or one of the other campuses. But it's also reassuring to see that our learners have been accepted into so many colleges in Ireland. UCC, Limerick, University of Limerick, MTU, and several other institutes of higher education in the country. But we've also seen our learners accepted into prestigious UK universities, such as Cardiff, Swansea, and Newcastle. When Griffith knocks on a door, it is opened. Um, now, I would um, also, it's very important to thank the people who have called, brought this success to us. So I'd like to thank all of the lecturers who have been both inspirational and supportive. I'd also like to thank the management administration of Griffith College Cork and the, especially the, the great support from the Global Outreach uh, Department. I, uh, I, was, I would also especially like to mention the great work done by Evelyn O'Brien. Finally, I am delighted to congratulate Jen and Chia, who uh, had the outstanding academic awards and is the recipient of our Best Academic Achiever for Certificate and Foundation Studies program for 2022. Now. Um, President, I present to you the following candidate who has successfully completed the Certificate in International Foundation Studies program and who is worthy of their QQI award, George Tsingyuksu. Irminish er Finbar Sheehy Stewart Hor Clore Lawrence Leonard Kamehem.
I call upon Finbar Sheehy, Education Director within the Pharma Labs, to address the graduates. President, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, graduates, it's good to be home. My name is Finbar Sheehy. Um, I'm delighted to welcome you to this year's graduation from the Innopharma Griffith College, Faculty of Pharmaceutical Science. As Dermot mentioned, the collaboration between Innopharma and Griffith started in 2013. And the objective was to provide a unique set of skills, technological, business, transversal skills, and competencies to people who wanted to work in the life science industry. Next year will be our 10 year anniversary of collaboration. And in that time, we've seen significant growth in terms of the number of programs and the number of learners. This year, we're delighted to have over 520 graduates from the faculty, both domestically and internationally. We're genuinely very humbled that you've allowed us on your journey of education. Hopefully, we've impacted you in a positive way, and hopefully, we've helped you to either commence or further enhance your career in the life science sector. Clearly, we live in a difficult time a time where disruption has greatly affected all our lives. But history, nature, and the seasons tell us that after every winter comes the spring. Spring brings new insights, new beginnings, new life, new opportunities. These disruptions also highlight the need for lifelong learning and the development of new skills to keep us agile and prepare us for the future. You've all learned lots of different things in the last year. But the one skill, the one competency, the one characteristic that I'd like to think is essential for the future is that of curiosity and critical thinking. Curiosity is just very simply trying to find out more about something. We're all born with a curiosity about the universe, but unfortunately, we allow ourselves to be conditioned out of curiosity and we become judgmental. In today's world, I think we're surrounded by data, but there's an argument which says we're, we're living in a time where we know so little about the truth. Curiosity informs us that it's important to approach life with an open mind. We shouldn't always take things at face value. It's good to question things, not to be judgmental, but to seek understanding. It's also important to seek diversity, seek alternative views, different opinions. There's an argument which says, how do you know what good is if you don't understand what bad is? Curiosity and learning give us a passion for the future a future for our children, a future that we ourselves may never see. And above all, be curious for the love and the fun of learning and the objective of doing good things in the world. Congratulations to every one of you, to you and your families. It was a pleasure and honor to work with each one of you. And we wish you well on your journey through life. Keep in touch, send us the odd postcard on LinkedIn. Just let us know how you're getting on. And if you need a hand at any stage, please let us know. Well done again. Thank you for your contribution contribution to yourselves, contribution to the faculty, and the contribution to the college. Thank you. Irmanish er Anne Mitchell, Bonnister Clore, Irhuri Herbert. I call upon Anne Mitchell, Program Manager with Innopharma Labs, to present candidates in respect of the college's degree programs in pharmaceutical business operations. President, I present the following candidates who have successfully completed programs in pharmaceutical science faculty and who are worthy of QQI awards. First program is the Bachelor of Arts in Pharmaceutical Business Operations and the second program, the Bachelor of Arts Honours in Pharmaceutical Business Operations. Patrick Arnold. Emma Coleman.
Michelle Call. Peter Cusson. Luke Daly. <laughs> Stephen Hayes. Tomas Igoras. Eva McGrath. Sharon Murphy. Kaylee Noonan. Davis O'Shea. <laughs> K. 
Kira O'Shea. Yvonne Power. Ian Sims. Raphael Slowinski. Nadia Stoyanova. Fernanda Tierney. Ralph Toman. Andrew Britton. <laughs> Tina Curtin.
Robert Fitzpatrick. Hannah Joan Honer. Gary Kelleher. Sean Kelleher. Sarah Owens. Mandy Quinlan. Diana Schrouder. And the final graduate on the BA Honours, Daniel Murphy.
Irmanish or Finbar Sheehy, Count Doiva, Irohoria Herbert. I call upon Finbar Sheehy, Head of Faculty, to present candidates in respect of the college's postgraduate diploma in pharmaceutical business and technology. President, I present you with the following candidates who have successfully completed the postgraduate diploma in science in pharmaceutical business and technology and are worthy of their QQI awards. Claire Adam. Monica Bissio. Lucia Fatima. Colum Killeen. Denise O'Brien. <laughs> Joseph O'Donovan. Well, the Sierra Rosu.
Juliana Viana Lopez. As we conclude our conferring of awards, I'd like to invite everyone to give a special round of applause to all our graduates here today. And remembering that many of their fellow graduates are graduating today online, we might also give a similar round of applause to your, to your colleagues. In this <laughs> time, all the second class to do the runner or came here to Arig, let's not lay for a few hours with Mark and Quint Lane. The college now has the pleasure of announcing a prize, which is awarded to a graduate who has achieved excellence in their studies. And this year, the prize is awarded in respect of the Bachelor of Arts Honours in Pharmaceutical Operations. And I call upon Finbar Sheehy, Head of Faculty, to present the prize. The best academic achievement on the Bachelor of Arts Honours in Pharmaceutical Operations is awarded to Robert Fitzpatrick. <laughs> Ian Erica, a green oyster, Colum Creoclesh and Sharman are sure can dove the knee of Rona, er, came on Colostra, Baron Buikus live Galair. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the ceremony for the purpose of conferring awards on the graduates of the college. My best wishes and thanks to you all. While the graduates are here with us, I'd like to take this opportunity to briefly mention the Griffith College Alumni Network with over 40,000 graduates living in Ireland, Europe, and in over 100 countries worldwide, the network is an excellent way to stay in touch with classmates, fellow graduates, and the college. The network is also proving to be a valuable resource for graduates seeking or changing employment. As we move towards the college's 50th anniversary, we're also delighted to see our graduates from earlier years using the network to recruit Griffith graduates to meet their own organization's needs. Details about the network are on GriffithAlumniNetwork.com and on the college's website. On behalf of the college, I would like to invite all of the guests of the graduates here today to enjoy a glass of wine, cup of tea or coffee, and refreshments immediately afterwards on the top floor of the East Campus. And as you leave the exit, you will be guided to the top floor of the East Campus if you're not familiar with it. I would also ask the graduates to bear with us for a few more moments while as we return to capture in photograph and the film just how lovely you look today. Once the photographs have been taken, the graduates can rejoin their guests and celebrate their achievements together in style. For now, we wish you every joy and happiness in celebrating your success with your close friends. And as a token, we've small boxes of chocolates for everyone as we head our separate ways. Please stand for the academic procession.